the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us then confess our sins to God our Father. Most, Most merciful God, God we, we confess, confess that, that we are by nature, nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our own heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, in His mercy, has given His Son to die for you, and for His sake forgives you all your sins. As a called and ordained servant of the Word, I therefore forgive you all your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We turn then to page 75, where we will find introits for the... Thirteenth Sunday after Pentecost, and we look to the right hand column for the three year series. The eyes of all look to you. And you give them their food at the proper time. Fear the Lord, you his saints. For those, for those who fear him lack like nothing. nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry. But those, but those who, who seek the Lord lack like no good thing. thing. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. And his ears are attentive to their cry. Glory be to the Father and to the Son. And to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning. He is now and will be forever. The eyes of all look to you. And you give them their food at the proper time. We return then for now to page 159, the Kyrian. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and to the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. We turn back to the collect on page 75 that begins on page 75 and continues over the page. Merciful God, since you have given your only Son as the sacrifice for our sin, also give us grace to receive with thanksgiving the fruits of his redeeming work and daily follow in his ways. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading is from the 146th Psalm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in princes, immortal men who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them, the Lord who remains faithful forever. He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the alien and sustains the fatherless and the widow. But he frustrates the way of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever. Your God, O Zion.
for all generations. Praise the Lord. And then we're going to read from Mark, the seventh chapter. Then Jesus left the vicinity of Tyre and went through Sidon down to the Sea of Galilee and came into the region of the Decapolis. There some people brought him a sign, brought him a man who was deaf and who could barely walk, and they begged him to place his hand on the man. And he took him aside away from the crowd. Jesus put his fingers into the man's ears, then he spit and touched the man's tongue. He looked up to heaven and with a deep sigh to said to him, Ephrathah, which means be opened. At this the man's ears were opened, his tongue was loosened, and he began to speak plainly. Jesus commanded them not to tell anyone, but the more he did so, the more they kept talking about it. People were overwhelmed with amazement. He has done everything well. He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. This is the Gospel of our Lord. Now, as we look at that scripture, there are a couple of amazing things happen. A doctor sometimes can find why a certain person can't hear and do surgery and relieve the problem. And if the person is over two or three years old and they've never heard human speech before, do you believe that they can immediately start talking? Nope. Because they haven't gone through all the steps of learning how to say the sounds. The steps that a baby goes through. Ba, 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 ba. They're practicing when they do this stuff. It's practicing sounds. Oh. So the doctors can do these miraculous things on occasion and make somebody able to hear. But the deaf person, the person who's always been deaf, can't always speak a language clearly because they don't know how to do it. Um, that's what's so important about them telling you that he not only made the man's ears open, but his tongue loosened and he began to speak plainly. No difficulty, no distortions in the speech. It was like he had come up all of his life learning how to speak, knowing how to speak. Uh, the point in doing that is to tell me who you're looking at here. This isn't some doctor, this isn't some miracle man, this is God. It's And people are doing the right thing here. He did everything well. They're watching him. You know, is he some kind of snake charmer or is this the real deal? Um, and you put yourself in their shoes at the time, you wouldn't want to go off after some false messiah. The scriptures tell you, test the spirits, check it out. Is he the real McCoy? Well, yeah, because who else can make a deaf person hear and speak? No doctor then or now can do that, just instantly. Only God can do that. Now, a God who can do that, what is there he can't do? He can do just anything, can't he? But on this earth, who do we really put our trust in? I mean, maybe not you and me, and of course not the listeners here this morning, all of you are much wiser than this, but who does people by and large put their trust in? Themselves. Well, the, yeah, themselves and the politician comes along 
I'm going to fix everything for all the people. Mm -hmm. We're long past putting a chicken in every pot and a car in every driveway. We're down to, we're going to give you affordable medic medical for everybody and, and uh, we're going to have a, what kind of steak was that? Sirloin. The sirloin steak on every plate. And, uh, oh, if you're going to do that, I'd rather have a cheap one. But that's okay, I'll take it. <laughs> but you, you don't get the point here. We're making a bad joke here. But, I know. But, uh, but the politician is going to solve all of our problems, whatever it is. And it's funny how the same politician can say, I'm going to protect you from terrorism, but I'm going to leave the border wide open. Um. Uh, you know, and I'm not talking about necessarily the politicians who are in power right now. I'm talking about just about any good politician. Okay. They learn to do the little dance in the best little whorehouse in Texas. They have the governor do a, do a little sidestep. You know, now you see me, now you don't. Politicians can do that. And we know better than to put our trust in these bozos, don't we? We know better. The party that owns all the co corporations has all the people running the corporations. Says the other party's pro-business. And you scratch your head. And the other party goes, huh? But they don't know how to say the truth. I mean, you know, don't, don't put your trust in men. Or women. <laughs> well, and any of them, because they all know how to do little sides tape. Now you see me, and now you don't. Don't put your trust in princes, because they are mortal men, and when they're dead, all their big plans are done. Why, sweetie pie, I'm going to be a millionaire in two years. You just come along with me, darling. Haven't you heard variations of this story down the line? No, I've heard that. Story. You've heard that very story. <laughs> and how much of the time is it a cock and bull story? No, about 99.9%. Yeah, don't put your trust in mortal men. No. Carol used to tell me that any man any person is going to disappoint you in this life. They're going to disappoint you. I don't care who they are. Any person other than the Lord God ourself. Blessed is he whose help is in the Lord of, or the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in him. The same Lord who can not only fix your ears, but fix your tongue at the same time. This same Lord who, who can do it. The set Lord who sets the prisoners free, who gives food to the hungry, who gives sight to the blind. How many days in your life have you actually been hungry, Doug? 365. I mean, hungry. I don't mean hungry at some point in the day. I mean hungry. Where you went to bed at night without anything. Huh. Might be one or two. How many of them were that way because there was no food available anywhere for you to eat in the world? Mm. No. Most of us Americans have been blessed in our lives where we've had food. And as you can tell, mm -hmm. I have been supremely blessed. The Lord has supplied in a great fullness. Uphold the cause of the oppressed. Does this mean there aren't people who are hungry? No. Does this mean there aren't people who are slaver in slavery? No. Does this mean there aren't people who are oppressed? Yes, they are. But if you are the oppressor, if you are the politician or 
military person or whoever depriving people of food to eat, food that they could have earned or did earn, worked for. What if you're Monsanto that we're not putting GMOs everywhere and so the food people eat is poison? Oh yeah, they got laws. They keep them from being sued, blah, blah, blah. But whole countries are throwing their company out. Um, that's oppression when you poison people. They have something to eat, all right, but it's killed them. Uh, and I'm not just talking about Monsanto. That's just one example. This is not a sermon against them. Yeah, there are people who do all kinds of dreadful and terrible things. What's their future? They have none. They have none. Right answer. They have none. They have none. At least no good future. They have no good future. Oh, there's a future of right. With warmth. Lots of warmth. Warmth that will make the South Texas sunshine seem like an Arctic day. Uh, but they have no future that's... Those that uh, are going to make a million dollars and why don't you come along with me, sweetie, because I'm on the way just to enjoy the riches with me. Meanwhile, entertain me on the, my path to riches. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. The Lord watches over the alien. You were once an alien in a faraway land, weren't you? Did God watch over you? Mm -hmm. He brought you out, didn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I woke <won't> up. <laughs> you got back. And in some ways, this is important because all of us are aliens here on this earth, aren't we? The song is, Heaven is our fatherland. Mm -hmm. That's where our home is, is with God in heaven. So while we're sojourning here, we are the alien. And he sustains the fatherless and the widowed. And he says, he frustrates the way of the wicked. So, does this mean things aren't going right for you today, so you must have sinned some kind of horrible sin? No. No, 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 no. Just leave it in God's hands and watch Him work it out. Uh, watch Him work, and make sure you're doing, and you know, check yourself over, make sure you're doing the right things, the godly things. And if you are, just maintain the course, because those things that are frustrating you and those people that are frustrating you and causing you misery, they join the hands of those who have no future. Oops. I don't want to be in that boat. Don't want to be in that boat. Woe unto them. Praise be to the Lord who rules in Zion, who rules in heaven, who rules over us forever and who has promised us redemption, who has promised us resurrection, who has promised us Mary, the mother of our Lord, promised us good things, who gives us all good things. The Apostles' Creed 167, I believe in God the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified, died, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, let us let us pray. Lord, watch over us. Keep us always thankful for what you provide for us. Keep us always looking for you and keep us not depending on politicians or parents or shysters who want to tell us that they have good things going. Keep us always with our hopes and dreams focused in your promises for us. Be with those, Lord, who are in slavery, who are in bondage, whether that bondage be to the politicians or to the liberal slavers or abusers or or to disease, free them, Lord. Give them all help and comfort. These things we pray in the name of your Son, Jesus, who rules with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. And then we join on page... Is this one? Mm -hmm. On page 170. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and pray. It is right to give him thanks. Salutary to at all times. Give you thanks and praise, especially on this day when we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus from the grave. And therefore we come before you with angels truly good right and sound archangels and all the hosts of heaven evermore praising you and saying holy holy holy, holy, holy lord, lord god of power and might heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna 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 in the highest blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the, in the highest lord jesus remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray our father, father who art, who art in, in heaven how will be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take eat, this is my body, which is given for you, this do in remembrance of me. In the same way also, he took the cup after supper, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Take it, the very body of Christ, given unto death for you. Take and drink the blood of Jesus shed for the remission of your sin. Mm -hmm. It's the body of Christ. Take a drink, that this is the blood of Jesus, shed for the remission of your sins. Body, this is the body of Christ, given unto death. It's the body of Christ, given unto death. For you. Take a drink. This is the blood of Jesus Christ, shed for the remission of your sins. Take a drink. May this true body and true blood of the Lord Jesus bless you and preserve you in the true faith to life everlasting. Amen. We pray. We give thanks to you, Almighty God, that you have refreshed us through this salutary gift, and therefore we implore you of your mercy that you would strengthen us through the same in faith toward you and in fervent love toward one another, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. 
Amen.